Hey, what's up everyone? This is Lo-Fi from Internet Money. Coming at you guys with something a little bit different today. We're gonna have a new kind of tutorial series where we're going over percussion. I'm just gonna call it the perk study, I guess. Uh, a lot of people's uh, percussion game is lacking or it's just really cookie cutter where everybody's doing the same exact drums. Everyone's doing the same hi-hat patterns, the same little uh, two hit bounces in between snares or claps or whatever. And I mean, that is the game right now. Uh, most people are producing trap, so trap doesn't vary too much when it comes to beat. The melodies change, of course, but the drums are mostly the same. Um, so with the perk study, you guys answered my poll that I put out uh, asking what you want to learn about percussion first, and you chose sound selection and why. So this is gonna be like a 101 video. I'm gonna try to keep it short. Uh, when it comes to trap, Everyone uses the same drums. There's always waves. There's waves that take uh, take over, and it's usually based on the kind of sound that tra that that music has at the moment. Like if you think back to when DJ Mustard uh, was running the game, everybody was doing West Coast beats, right? So when Mike Will was running was on his run, <clears throat> and, and it's, it's I have to say on his run with quotations because he's never stopped. He's just not as prominent as he was like two years ago, where every single song was Mike Will. But his run is is legendary. Uh, anyways, so when he was doing his run, everybody was doing uh, the same spin zeta weight, uh, which hasn't stopped. Everyone's still doing the spin zeta weight, uh, the same regular uh, trap rolls and snare rolls or whatever, and they were just trying to keep the melody simple. So that's kind of where the sound of, of trap or hip hop is right now. It hasn't really moved off of that, but there's been variations like Zaytoven's re-emerged as a, as a household name he was already popular before now he's back at that level again with his work with, with gucci and of course all the other artists coming out of the a so with him now everyone's using his uh the zaytoven shaker or whatever uh i'm sure i got it somewhere i'm sure i got it uh it's probably zaytoven drum kit so and i don't think it's in here that's embarrassing uh whatever so I'm sure I got it in here somewhere. Um, the Zaytoven Shaker takes over everybody's... I can't believe I can't find it right now. Anyways, uh, you know, it sounds like an egg shaker. Everybody's got it. Everybody's been using it on all their beats. Just like before that, there was that Trey Songs. Ah! Or I guess it wasn't really Trey Songs who did it first. I guess that was the, the Dilemma chant first from Nelly. Um, you know, everyone was using that. Everyone was using the Crow for a while like people tend to use the same sound based on the wave hell everyone even started using the 808 mafia siren on their beats just so they could fit in and just to ride that wave so with the wave right now everyone's still got a basic pattern something like this and that's the difference is this pattern has always been here it's just usually something like uh let's just say this it's just usually been like a regular snare Something like that. That bounce has always been there, but now everyone's trying to get creative by alternating the sounds that they use for this. So they'll have a bongo or, I don't know, let me see. Uh, yeah, something like this, right? Right, so that's like a live bongo sound from my, from my new kid or whatever. So, you know, it's cool that the drums are the same. That is the game. But when it comes to your sound selection, you want to you want to lead a wave. You don't want to really be on the wave after the fact because then you don't shine, right? So I encourage people to get innovative with your percussion when it comes to trap as much as you can. Um, I'll show some examples of that. Like I said, I'm going to keep this video as short as I possibly can. But I do want to give you guys a good understanding of why things work and why some things don't work. So the like if you think back to a song like this, like uh, Stunning on My Ex, that's probably like the first huge example I can think of where I can remember that bongo being used there or that conga or whatever it is instead of a regular snare. And really what Metro did is he switched. He had the snare in there too half the time and half the time is the bongo. So let's just play a little bit and see if we can find an example. So that's a snare. I left that hoe alone cause she was wrecked. And there's a bongo. All these bitches salty, they can't stand. Right, right there, that exact sound. 
So it stands out right there at that point. So let's bring it back a little bit more and you'll hear it again. Too salty, they can't stand. Huh. Coming in. Right. And even pay attention to pay attention to the actual beat. There's no crazy rolls. That's something that's also been phased out a bit. And hi hats do count as percussion. So uh if you're listening, there's no crazy hi hat rolls. Like a lot of people think that you have to have all these crazy rolls on different notes and triplets and one six hi hats, one sixteen, one thirty two rolls really quick. Like that that shit's kinda dead. Like the bounce and trap right now is all about simplicity. It's all about just being able to nod your head with the bass and the drums and the melody is barely there. Like it's really just about the percussion nowadays. And that's why I think this percussion study is important. So pay attention to what you're hearing here. She was ratchet. Huh. Bitches salty, they can't stand. Huh. So that's bitches in a match. It's literally this pattern. When you working hard, then your money starts that is literally this pattern. Just a little faster. That's it right there. And then you add in the 808. Like, that's literally the pattern you're hearing. Of course, you're not hearing this sound. You're hearing another, uh, I think it comes out of another Zaytoven kit or something like that. Uh, that, that specific bongo or congo or whatever. So... When you when you're doing your trap stuff, like use things that are close, but try something different. Maybe alternate what clap you use. Don't use the same regular clap. Uh, for me, I know I have another beat, and I'll pull that up in a second here. Where I just said I'm tired of using these hi hats, and I use I think a, a sleigh bell. Let me see if I can find that. I think I was working on it uh, on a Periscope with you guys before, and I have a version that's kind of close to it that I dropped with a, as a collab with MJ. So let me see if I can find that really quick. Um, I think it is here. All right, so we've got this pulled up. Hopefully everything uh, loaded correctly. Uh, but you'll hear it. Uh, instead of having hi-hats, I literally have uh, a sleigh bell as percussion here. Just so I could do something different. And it still has the same bounce, but at least it's different than what you're used to. So I'll let the verse drop over here. Yeah, like it's a little tambourine shaker. In fact, is that the sound right here? It's close enough. But you see, I'm staying close. I don't want to. I don't want to really bite and and take exactly what they got. So the pattern we're using here is. And you see, spins 808. Right. So go ahead and get creative with things. Like try to experiment. Try to use different sounds. Try to use different things in your melodies like layer them up you see i have the tambourine going but i also have a hi-hat going right now so when you're doing sound selection for your percussion just try to make sure that you can find a way to remain creative if you're doing trap other genres have it a lot easier to be creative r&b uses a lot more of realistic sounds and i think that trap is ironically enough starting to lean in that direction like the fact that we're using bongos and congas again uh in in hip-hop like this is old kanye or something like that i think that's amazing i think it's great uh, i think it's going to lean back towards real instrumentation mixed in with the synthesizers and the 808s but for the time being make sure when you're picking a sound that is a clear as hell b something that you're using something that is yours do not just go to a zaytoven kit and pick the kit and then pick the 808 from there and then get his shaker and then get his hi-hat and his clap and then his his uh you know the little bongo he's using and then be like okay cool this these are my beats because you have no element you have no style of your own if i close my eyes and i play 100 beats like 90 of them probably sound exactly the same using the same sounds on the same kits don't fall into that trap. Go ahead and use something to freshen up your sound. Be more creative. You don't even got to use a bongo. Use something else. I mean, yes, that is the game right now where rappers are leaning towards beats that sound like that. But try to push the envelope. 
try to get something different. Instead of using a clap, try using a weird snare. You you guys hear my beats. I use the chop snare and I'll bend the hell out of that just to make it sound a little bit different um, or whatever. I'll use my own snares. I'll use my own percussion, my own 808s, things like that. So make sure to pick something that is yours and stick with it. Stop using everyone else's percussion. Use something that is yours and stick with it until it becomes the next wave. And then you can say that you're the leader of something instead of being a follower and you're just one of a million. So when it comes to percussion, it's very important in trap. That is exactly how, or at least one of the ways that you can make yourself stand out from the crowd. I'm going to come back again and uh, break down some other people's percussion how it's done, uh, my own percussion and some of my beats. I know a lot of you ask about how I do my snares and drums and things like that. Uh, I also got a couple of surprises in store, so we're going to have to get those lined up. Uh, I don't really want to give away much about that, but I know that you guys are in for a special treat. So welcome to the Percussion Study Series. Let's get this going. Mm -hmm.